Hello, beautiful and wonderful pirates out there. Season 10 of Sea of Thieves is now officially available after a long, long wait and an incredibly long season nine. We are finally able to make our own guilds. So I'm just gonna do a quick kind of how-to of that. I came in here and made my guild. Um, I had some questions from some people wondering if we could edit the guild once it is made and yes um you should be able to change these things so there it is found it guild management under your settings there's a manage guild members invite guild members rebrand the guild and guild permissions or you can disband it um if you own the guild you can hit rebrand at any time and you can change your banner you can change your mark um, the guild name requires purchasing a change potion from the Pirate Emporium. If you don't know what that is, fine, I'm no, not changing it. We go over here to the Pirate Emporium. There's now a new item. And it is under... So we get to grab your free Paradise Blunderbuss while we're here. <clears throat> couple other new fun things too. All right, under captaincy, there's a renaming deed, which you could purchase if you wanted to change the name of your guild. I would do everything in your power to choose the name that you like at the beginning because you do not want to have to pay for that. So if you want to sail on your guild, hit, well, let's actually do this first. So you can make up to three different guilds. So if you see here, this is my guild. I can click on this and I can make a new guild. So you can get, create a guild, and you'll just go through these, and you'll you'll select each of these, each of these, each of these. You actually have to click on it, right? Guild name, you enter your name, and then your motto, and then you'll confirm. Once you do that, exit to main menu, yes. Once you do that, you can go to the, your actual guild, and it will show your members. <coughs> And you can invite your friends by clicking that it'll this right here that i keep highlighting over inviting your friends will enable you to add people through their xbox gamer tag or their sea of thieves associated gamer tag and then you can also manage your roles if you are the owner you can change what level each one of these has so if you don't want the leaders to have ownership over changing roles, then you can take that away. Um, so pretty basic in terms of that. So let's go set sail for the first time on a guild. So we're going to go select. We go to play adventure. So now we have charter a ship. My ships and sell for a, sail for a guild. Now when you sail for a guild, in order to actually sail for a guild, you have to take one of your previous captain ships, which, wow, look at that rendering. Ooh, that is new and fancy. That is super cool. Um, I had to donate a ship to the guild, so it is no longer under my captain ships, and now anyone who plays on the guild can sail on this sloop. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. And so there it is. It says Sloop owned by Cap Cabbage, and it is currently ready to sail. I am assuming what that means is no one else is currently using my ship. Um, so I can do open crew, close crew, just your friends, or play with your friends and guild members. Um, this allows any of your guild members to join you, regardless of if you're friends on Xbox or microsoft store or whatever xbox app so i'm just gonna do close crew because no one's in the guild right now anyway so it doesn't really matter and we will uh set sail all right here we are officially set sail into season 10 on a guild gilded ship it does have to be a captain ship by the way obviously um so it's not gonna look all that different except for in the sovereign tent 
So I'm going to go over here to the Sovereign Tent. Show you guys how to sail as an emissary for... That looked different for a second. What? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay. So if you want to set sail as an emissary for your guild, you come here. And you can vote down the emissary flag. But you do have to get to level 15 first. So, what does that look like? Well, we go in here to our pirate log. We got season 10 rep and regular rep. And then something new. This is new. Ooh, look at the new UI. That is fancy dancy. How exciting is that? I've not seen any of this. So this is, I'm finding all this out. It's, this is a fresh perspective on this. So here you have our guild chronicles. Nothing has happened. And our emissary ledger, which is currently empty because we have done nothing. Right? Nothing has happened. But yeah, there's our rep. I'm going to get that growing and then see how it looks. That's just the ship logs. So. That's that. Now, there is guild-based costumes, and I don't know if you have to purchase those or if they are already in your ship inventory when you sell in a guild. Let's take a look. Ooh, this is not new. These are new. Look at that freaking hat. What? Those are new. These are for stealing chest of fortunes and stuff. So. Oh, there's more. Pants. Tattoo, shirt. Ooh, the shirt is kind of nice. Peg leg. Do so. call in again soon. Okay, goodbye. His voice. What the crap. <laughs> All right, and then we'll come over here to our ship. It says that I'm pledged to the Anti Cabbage League. And on the front of my mast here. Ta -da! This is your ship's guild plaque, proudly showing the guild you sail for. As your guild earns distinctions, this will upgrade. So right now, it is just plain and nothing. But that's where it is. That's where your guild name will appear on your ship. Hello, you now, is there anything going on here regarding guilds? Ring the bell. Probably the not. I'm sure there's a bunch more... Let's show stuff I don't own. This is the new ship set. That's in there. These are your... This is the stuff you get unlocking the different grades as a guild. So these are the rewards you can look forward to. Ooh, Fates of Fortune ship is nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh yeah. So... For some reason, the name's not displaying, which is odd. All right, and here's our season 10 stuff. What is that hat? Stormfish chaser hat? I kind of, oh, does that got the rope on it? I'm going to have to buy the, the pass. <laughs> um, Here's all your rewards for the season. Some new hair, some... Fancy looking hats and pants. Ooh. Sovereign ship crest. That's cool. Those cannons, those look nice. Ooh, what was that? Look at that telescope. Excuse me? I want that. Telescope is sick. Now, there is one thing I do want to look at. Where is it? Where the bucket at? Ah, here it is. Is this a... It's a bucket. Yeah. That's exciting. 96 is going to be a, a fun one. So, 
There you go. And a new tattoo set. Lorena Tribute Tattoo. Because she needs tribute, apparently. So, that is basically how you set sail as a guild ship. And the basics of the beginning of Season 10. So, I hope you guys are super excited for Season 10 and everything that's going to come with it. Um, hopefully, we see some fun new changes. Keep an eye out, out there for rowboats. Um, obviously, this is an outpost, so there's not going to be a rowboat here. But I hear that you can repair rowboats now, which is pretty exciting. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please drop a subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified if I ever go live, which is usually twice a week on this channel. And I will see you in the next video.